to another lippy review. So today we're doing another Bath and Body Works one, and this is the Sparkling Champagne Lip Gloss. This retailed for $8.50 when it came out. Uh, I think I got this one last year during the semi-annual sale, so it's not even like an older one or anything for a change. But um, yeah, so this one looks like it should have a teeny bit of color to it. Like it looks like a really soft pink with shimmer in it, so should be nice. Now, given what their champagne scent note usually smells like, I'm kind of surprised this one doesn't to me. Like, I'm picking up more on vanilla here. But maybe that'll change once I actually have it on. Like, could be totally different story at that point. But so far, I'm getting vanilla, which I was like, that is not at all what I was expecting. But yeah, so it's got the slanted applicator tip on it. Um, obviously, it is a gloss format type. Um... It contains how much? 0.47 ounces, so almost half an ounce. That's pretty good. Uh, it was part of their holiday line. It's limited edition, but this one I feel like they either bring it back or they bring some variation of it back every year. So it's one of those where I'm like, it's, it's not a total newbie, but it might be a slight alteration on an old classic. Because again, this isn't what I remember the champagne one smelling like. <laughs> so, could be a, a variation. But that's okay. I mean, variety is the spice of life, right? Right. So, anyway. Uh, it's not medicated, no SPF, no special features. So let me try it on. I'll let you know if I'm getting more scent out of it besides just vanilla once it's on. Ooh, it's pretty. The 90s kid in me is screaming at that frosty lip moment. It has flavor. It's like vanilla and... what is with it? Maybe marshmallow? But it's definitely not their usual, like, champagne note on any planet. Not at all. But I do like it. Like, it's actually really, really yummy. But I wouldn't have called it champagne or any variation on champagne. But ooh, look at how pretty. Yeah, it's a little sticky, but that's okay. I also put a crap ton of it on because it was so pretty that I couldn't help myself. But oh my goodness, look at it. Sorry, I'm really excited about it. Can you tell? I think you can tell. Anyway. The weird thing is it doesn't feel tacky, but, like, if you wear a lot of it, it does have that little bit of globby, like, stringy thing happening, uh, which will, it'll minimize within a few minutes. That always happens, but, anywho, um, it is a nice thickness on it. I like that. Like, even if you had really chapped lips, I don't think you feel it through this, so that's lovely. Um... I don't know if it feels like it'll absorb at all. I mean, it's gloss. It's kind of just meant to be there for looks more than anything. I mean, if it happens to have function too, that's just a perk. But I feel like it might a little, but we'll see. Um, not sure about the longevity. I am going to do the drink test. I'm nervous. I have a cup of tea here. Cards on the table. I dunked a cookie in it. There are crumbs in it. So if this comes out disgusting, I apologize in advance for what may happen here. But I'm hoping it doesn't happen. But it is a distinct possibility that I did not think through before turning on the camera. And all of a sudden I'm having a moment of, oh shit, I'm regretting my life choices right now. Oh well, anyway. Thankfully, I don't feel any, so I think we're good. But, um, looks like it stayed put, so fuck yeah. That is awesome. I'm, I'm digging this one. I'm digging this one a lot. So, I'm not going to waste doing the swatch on the hand because we know it will transfer. It's gloss. It always does. It has shiver. There is no way humanly possible for it not to. So, um, since everyone in the house but me has COVID right now, I, I'd rather not be putting my hands on the mouth, you know, I, you know, you know, so, anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna skip that this time around, thank you very much, uh, 
but we do know it would absolutely do it. So, although I'm surprised it how oh yeah, there it is. Okay, it is very much. You can see the glitter. We will use that as our kiss test today. I think you guys will understand. So, but overall, I'm actually really, really, really liking this one. I feel like the name is a bit of a lie. And for that, I will dock a point because it is not at all like what you go into it expecting. But on the other hand, it's so nice that you can't really be mad about it either. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. So I'm going to dock a point for that. And obviously, the fact that it will transfer, even though it is a gloss, and that is part of the nature of gloss. But those are my only two complaints at all. At all. And that's even with saying that it's an 850 lip gloss. You know what? This is a rare exception where you, I'm like, you know what? I would have paid full price for that one. That's, it's that nice. It's that nice. I can't believe those words just came out of my mouth. Like, but they did. Maybe they just came out of my mouth because I did just put in a Bath and Body Works order like a week ago and did buy some full price for the first time ever. So anyway, uh, <laughs> that'll be another video all on its own. But anyway, uh, yeah. So <laughs> in case anybody is concerned that I put on lip gloss in a house of COVID, don't worry. I've been wearing an N95 anytime I open the door to my room to go out for any reason. So there's nothing sticking to my lips going around the house. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I refuse to leave this room without it on. So <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. But uh, knock on wood, all the wood that hopefully I don't get this freaking thing because yeah, I'm kind of crapping bricks at this point. But anyway, <laughs> in terms of this though, this is good stuff. I don't know if they brought it back this year or not. But if they do, they also only just started rolling out the wintry stuff, so they have more to come. So if it's not there yet, keep an eye on it. They very well might, because this is only from last year. So it's very, very possible uh, possible it'll come back. So keep an eye out for it. If you see it, I highly, highly recommend it. So anyway, that is it for this one, guys. So as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddit, so everything and more is all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.